Oh! Oh, Jesus! Okay, it finally did it! What are you picking up? The rubble from the explosion? Is the dude okay? How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome to Little Big Workshop. Today we are going to enslave the very rare ant people on our tabletop to make toys for us. So yeah, this is a new assembly line tycoon game where you actually have to design the toys and you try and dominate the market and earn as much money as possible. That's at least what I'm going to do. So we're going to call mine Dre's... Not wet shop, that's a whole different episode. Sweat shop, there, oh, do, should, should we do eat with two, no, no. We're just gonna do ordinary sweat shop. All right, there we go. And time to enslave the ant people. Uh, here we are, and like I said, it's on a tabletop. I don't get the whole tabletop premise, but I absolutely love it. Uh, anything miniature, I just absolutely love. I wonder if it's kind of like a, a reference to actual tabletop gaming. Oh, actually, you saw that those things were actually action figures, and then they turned animated, so that is clearly the case. Hello! Oh, this guy. Okay, well, I'm not going to do the tutorial. I've already dealt with that, and we will quickly go over what this game is all about. So here is our sweatshop right now. We don't have too much in it, so let's get it all set up. First of all, we want a, a loading zone. So we are going to make this room the assembly room, so I'm going to have a loading zone kind of right in the middle of the shop here. Uh, let's actually expand that out a little bit. The bigger it is, the more we can obviously store on it. So let's make this quite big for right now. And then all around it will be our machinery. That way it's close to it and travel time shouldn't be too big of an issue. Now also, actually, do we have any upgrades yet? Ah, uh, we did start with one upgrade. I'm going to get storage management. So this is kind of how you progress through the game. You earn upgrades as you complete toys and do tasks. Uh, storage management is going to allow me to have different types of storage areas. So now, for example, I can put this area down here, and we'll expand that out a little bit. And then I can tell them that I want this to be the export zone. That is, any toys that we make will go here. That way we can export them quickly. Also, just because I know we're going to need space, I'm also going to buy, if we have it just yet, and yes, we do large shelving. All right, that will obviously allow us to stack toys on that, so we're going to order that up. It's all blueprinted, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because I made it a little bit too big. We shouldn't need to use that much space just yet. We are definitely not Santa. We are not making a million toys right now. We are going to start off very basic. All right, and there we go. So each, each new thing comes in its wonderful little box. They'll place it here, and then it takes a while to build it. I'm sure if you've watched a Tycoon game before, you get the gist of how these games work. Now, we obviously want an assembly station. This will be for final assembly. Um, we kind of need that. Let's start off. We're just going to do basic stuff for the first run here. We're going to get a woodworking station to make wooden toys. So we'll put that there like that. Order that up. We got 14 grand in the bank. I don't want to drop it too much because who knows what could happen. And being that we basically made this the assembly room and then this the storage room, this is going to be their break room. So we're going to... I, I mean, I did say I'm, I'm making a sweatshop, but I'm being kind of nice, at least for right now. So we want to recover their energy. Obviously, we need coffee for that. That's an important one. Oh, actually, that upgrades capacity of energy. So obviously, the more coffee you have, the more energy you have. But we also need generation. So I'm just going to get a generic table for right now. We'll throw that right there just to save space. I'm hoping that they can actually walk through this because uh, we don't have too big of a factory, as you can see. So we got to utilize that space as much as possible. Uh, let's do one more thing in the break room. I'm feeling really nice right now. I'm, I really want to get the foosball table. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's get the foosball table. Let's, let's, have, let's have a tournament later or something. Uh, I don't know if it can be right by the wall, so we'll put it right there for right now. We can always move these things later on. All right, but now we have the very basics at what we need to actually build some toys. So let's actually do that. We are going to... What's coming in right now? Oh, yeah, all the things for the break room. So we can just plan out our first toy as we do that. Sorry, we're not, we're not going to plan it out. We're going to go to the market first. All right, and we currently have a challenge. Challenges mean uh, you can only do it in a certain amount of time. Does it actually say how much time? 50 days. Okay, well, that's basically a, a give me. Uh, we need to make three units in 50 days. It's probably going to take less than a day to do that, so we definitely want to do the challenges first because they generally give us better yields. Now let's actually go 
into the planning, and this is where it kind of turns into like a, a an assembly line game where it's very strategic, especially when you're making multiple toys at the same time. Right now, it's going to be very basic, but it will get more complex later on. So each square is a material. Each circle is a task. So obviously, we need to assign a task to a workbench. We have one workbench right now, so it's only going to go to that one. And what, what is this task actually doing? Detail simple. So somehow it turns that giant log into that with simple details. Got it. All right, we want to make three of those, so that's good. Everything else is done. This is a very basic toy, so we'll obviously do this one real quick, but I do want to get to some more complex stuff. All right, but here comes the materials. All right, let's speed this up a bit, because we obviously spent way too much time building the break room. And look at that, our first log. It's so exciting. Look at this truck driver. Oh my god, that is the best- wait, is that my employee? I thought that was the freaking truck- oh, that's gotta be the truck driver, right? No, is that my- is that seriously my employee? Hold on, workers? Is that James? So obviously this is a very simple task. Let's actually start prepping for something a little more complex. We have lots of different items that we could actually place right now. And like I said, as we go down the trees, it gets more and more complex and has more and more steps for everything. So I'm gonna go at the mar look at the market right now. We're gonna go to basic because that's all we can really build. And let's see what we want to do. What is... okay. Um, how is a video game basic? Now, there is supply and demand, so we have... The demand is the amount of units I can do during this term, and then the price is obviously what the market is currently asking for. So obviously, video games wouldn't be a good idea right now because demand is quite low. So we want something that's, that's having an upwards trend. Unfortunately, that one's locked. That would have been nice to do. I'm thinking kind of this one might be good. Whack a pin. Um, we can make 49 units of this for a price of 255. I think that's a lot of woodworking, man. And we also need something totally new. So, uh, actually, it looks like we can make it out of wood. So, we're gonna do that. Gonna use the punching pins. Now, I should probably explain what's going on here, because this is the, probably the most confusing part of the game, but the coolest part, in my opinion. So... We have design and attributes over here. These are our current attributes using the materials that we've chosen. This is the target. This is what the supplier is requesting. At least 12 style points and at least 8 durability. Right now, I'm going crazy in the style, so we can actually drop this down a little bit probably and save some money. So let's drop this down and you can actually see somewhere where the money is, right? Oh yeah, we actually have tabs here. So obviously, we don't want to go too crazy with the materials if we don't need to. If it's just adding more style, we don't really need it. But I do want to make sure our durability is good. So 7 out of 9, we're close to the durability. Let's keep this going here. We're going to put that up to that. 7 to 8. All right, let's actually up that to 8. And we have that at 20. So we are making a really good product right now utilizing this. Now, obviously, we need to assign... Man, we, we might have went a little bit too crazy right at the start. Obviously, we should have more workbenches if we're making something this complex. Because uh, all these steps are going to have to be done on one workbench. So, we'll do it now. Uh, I should probably keep to the more si simple stuff until later, though. Because this is just going to overload this workbench, unfortunately. And also, I forgot we have our gnomes. So, we're going to have to uh, send those out soon here. Why are they not putting them... On the exit zone. Oh, that's probably because we don't have a worker that will do that. So these are the loading workers. We're going to recruit one of those. Let's recruit another worker as well just to have some extra people around. Um, this, was, she, was she laying on the friggin' front lawn? Get to work! Can somebody just move this gnome off the assembly table? Thank you. I just want to finish this so I can earn at least a little bit of money. And de de deliver. Trucks on route. All right, but there goes our first toy. The wooden gnome that basically took nothing besides a chisel and a giant block of wood. The, can, can I hire you? You're way faster than my workers. Seriously, why? How is she so fast? And you know what? I'm going to do another woodworking station. These things are huge, but being that we're using so much wood, especially at the start, I think it's smart to actually get two woodworking stations so we're not wasting too much time. Um, also, I did want the plastic injection. Just because we have money right now, we may as well spend some of it. This is kind of fun. I mean, should we get everything? I think we could all, all almost afford everything. Sewing station? No, we're not going to make any clothing just yet. Small forge and paint station. I'm going to get the small forge. At least that. And I think that's good for right now. I don't want to, you know, make myself go too poor here. One thing we could do is maybe get a plastic toy and get the uh, people building plastics as we are building just wood. So is there any straight plastic? There's sometimes like buckets and everything. It doesn't look like we're going to get that lucky right now. The doll's going to need clothing probably. Oh man. 
My, 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 my choices for plastic is pretty sad right now. I guess the snowboard's probably plastic. Wood, metal, and plastic, so it's all three. I don't know why I'm going so complex right now, but I want to keep these guys bit busy. So let's do that. Oh, man, actually, we don't have too much money. Let's just wait. I am cutting myself way too close to going bankrupt, as I usually do in games like this. Hey, there's an overdrive mode? So I've been repairing this thing because I think it's going to explode, but I didn't realize... Hell yeah, let's do overdrive mode. Oh my god, it's actually shaking. It's on fire, it's so ready to go. Okay, this is, I didn't realize that was a button. That's an amazing button, especially considering the stupid set setup that I currently have. So yeah, we uh, we poured some coffee on the thing or something. It's jolting all over the place, as you can see. And this is making my life way easier. We're already at 10 out of 15. Look at that. We actually have storage right now of wonderful whack pins the most boring game ever. Oh, this guy just... <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's been working real hard. He just passed out from exhaustion. Uh, oh my god, I didn't even realize the other one was on the ground too. What are you guys doing? Like, you only one of you literally has to work at a time. Just go relax for a little bit. Why are you guys passing out? Give me a thumbs down right now, man. That's your fault. All right, well, you guys have a good sleep. Can we get somebody else on the workbench, please? I mean, this is a sweatshop after all, and it seems to be working quite well. All right, but finally it's done. Let's deliver this bad boy. We almost ran out of money there. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Again, I expanded myself way too much. We shouldn't have this much stuff already. I should have just stayed with woodworking, but I wanted to experience it all. Uh, how's our ranking doing, by the way? Uh, so yeah, there is like a, a competition against the other players. And Dre's Sweatshop ranked 23rd out of 26. Not bad. Gonna try and take that one spot, man. We're gonna have to go light on the jobs right now, because even after this pay, we're only gonna get, yeah, five grand. So we definitely want to make sure we're not going too crazy. So let's go back to the market. I'm thinking something with a mixture of metal and wood is obviously be really good. I don't know what the happy face means, but it makes me happy, so I'm thinking one of these should be good. Um, looks like demand is really... what was that one that I was just on? This one? Yeah. Demand's really good for this. Price is actually pretty decent, so let's plan a product out with this. It's a very basic product, as you can see, so it shouldn't take as long, which is nice. Uh, what do we need? Target of two. We just need to up our style by one, so where can we up the style by one? Well, perfect, right there. Bam, we're done. That's as basic of a product as we can get. Obviously, we need to uh, assign these things, so we're going to put that on that. What's this? Uh, oh, we need braces. So do we want to do metal? Obviously, metal is much more expensive, so I think we're going to go as basic as possible. With this guy, it's looking like that's going to be the easiest. Uh, we'll check, check that. So let's go a little crazy right now. I'm going to... How much money? Payments, 4,044. Let's go to... I don't want to go too close to my max. So we're going to spend 4,000 bucks. And we should be able to make quick work of this job compared to the last one because we've spread it out on multiple different machines. And as you can see, they're both working at the same time, which is how you want to actually play this game. I just love this image right now. We got a guy passed out in the corner. These people are working as hard as they can. For science, I'm just going to let this thing go. I want to see what happens when you let it expel. Uh, you do have to manually repair everything, so obstruction... I heard, I saw there was a mention of obstruction. It looks like everybody's okay, though. I'm assuming it's just the guy that's passed out on the floor, so nobody can assemble anything right now. Uh, I don't know if that's it, but that's hilarious if that's the case. Oh, well, that's not good. We kind of got a little bit of a fire here. This guy's inspecting it like, what the hell are you doing, man? You're still working on this thing? <laughs> Is it going to explode? Let's speed it up again. I love how these guys, they don't even care. I mean, just fire on, on your actual workbench. They're just committed to doing their jobs, man. I gotta say, for ant people, they are sure loyal. I mean, I am clearly not treating them very well. Every one of them has passed out at least now. And now we have a fire in, in, in our facility. Great. All right, for science, this thing is about to blow. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Oh, you're leaving at the perfect time. Okay, I don't know if it, it wears down if nobody's on it, but this is probably the best time for it to explode as everybody has freaking left the building. Oh, decorations make your rooms more efficient. That doesn't make sense, but that makes a lot of sense why maybe these guys are exhausted. So we're going to have to de decorate this room later. I'm still waiting for this damn thing to blow. All right, there we go. Get, get back to work. Come on. The bench may... Seriously, you didn't even do anything. Man, I thought this thing would explode. It doesn't look like it's going to do it. It looks like it's... Is it just going to keep working? Just be on fire? I'm assuming it's like slower or something. 
I have no idea though, but yeah, like it's totally, I mean, I'm just gonna keep it. Why, why not, right? Well, good news is we have our shelves and our one rake done, so we're gonna deliver that stuff. We are almost out of money, so it couldn't have come at a better time, and we can get some of this stock out of here. Look at the amount of rakes. God, the kids are gonna love it when they get a rake in their stocking. That's, that's the perfect toy. <laughs> I don't know why we're building rakes, by the way. It was said that we're, we, we mostly build toys in this game, but hey, we built shelves and rakes. Go us. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Okay, it finally did it! What are you picking up? The rubble from the explosion? Is the dude okay? Man, these guys are the least complaining people I've ever met, so I think I just destroyed something. Am I gonna have a, enough materials now? All right, that was, that was a dumb idea, but I'm I was just curious. All right, let's let's repair this thing finally. All right, so we got some more upgrades. Now, we have an option right now. We can unlock more complex woodworking machines, such as lathes, bandsaws, and glue stations, which sounds really, really cool. Also, we can unlock a set of construction tools, allowing uh, us to build new walls, doors, and factory sections, so we can expand out our facility, which I was worried that we weren't going to be able to do that for some reason. And then we have eco-friendly materials as well, which gives us better options um, when we're actually creating. I think I'm going to go down the woodworking route. If we can make more complex toys, that would obviously be pretty fun. Oh, the phone's ringing. Hello! How are you? I represent Suica, a global furniture company. Furniture! I just want to make toys, man! We need another subcontractor, and we, we believe you may fit the job. We require a small amount of parts for one of our best-selling products, the Grand Shelf. Oh, more shelves? Okay, let's do it just because, uh, yeah, I'm going to get lots of money for it. For eight units, I get five grand. I just made 20 freaking breaks, and I'm not even going to get close to that. All right, so let's plan that product out. I think we've already built the plan for this one, so that's good. Uh, we get crazy amounts of profits. Let's execute that. You can also uh, change priority in this game, so we're going to move that to the top, uh, being that we only have four days to do it. I mean, you never know. It, it might take forever for some weird reason. Oh, we have a plastic product, too. Hold on. Hold your horses. We got another challenge uh, job. Do I want to take another one on? How many is it? 15 units? It's just plastic, though, and I'm not using plastic for anything else, so this is the perfect product to do alongside a metal wood product because uh, we can do both at the same time. So we finally get into the plastics. Now, what do we need? Oh, we've already reached our target, so we got to keep this very basic. We'll just keep... I'm assuming this changes the color choice? Yeah, that's probably it. All right, we are going to the mold. We only have one mold, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to do both at the same time, but that's okay. We're making the uh, shovel in the bucket, and then obviously this is a very simple job, so we should be able to get it done quickly. And there we go. Profit of 2001. The perfect setup here. We are just giving them the durability and style they request. Doing any more would just waste money anyway. So there we go. Let's get that done. And uh, it should be a really good payday now that we have two challenge jobs coming up. We're going to move that to priority as well. Hopefully they'll do both at the same time. Yeah, it looks like they're both they're doing both, which is nice. We only get one day to do this. I'm getting a little worried, man. This is going to be tight. I might need two molds just to get this thing done. One day doesn't take long at all. We're still not even close to being done. These these presses take forever. As long as this thing is repaired and it just did get repaired, we should be okay. But man, look at this. 36. Yeah, we should be okay. It's it's really close though. Oh, it's done. Deliver. Okay, there we go. So the first one's done, the plastics. And that should be a really good payday. We're almost in the shelving as well. So we got close to uh, breaking even once again. And we are safe once again. So that's good. The bending machine, a circle saw, band saw, lathe, stick saw. So yeah, we can make a literal wood shop now. Uh, which is what obviously this game's designed to do. You're going to have different shops in different areas. Um, I'm not going to make any of that stuff just yet. That's a little too complex for me. But if you guys like this game, we'll definitely... Uh, try and get some some more complex creations done because yeah we're just doing the the basic ones right now there's actually medium and advanced that i can't even get to just yet all right we got that done we got the rakes done we are just doing delivery after delivery right now feels good to empty out the shop uh there we go shipment of shelves received quality is satisfactory i mean that's exactly what i went for so payment 540 gain experience all right sick all right, but let's finally get some decorations for these guys. We got a little bit of money in the bank, which is nice. Should we do a fountain? Oh, it has to be on the outside. Well, they're never outside, but 
You know what? We'll, we'll do a fountain there just for the good looks. Um, what can we put on the inside? I guess just the plants? Oh, I should probably read. Indoor and outdoor. Got it. All right, we're going to give you guys a potted plant. Can I put it on a table at least? No, I can't. Oh, actually, did I have it there? No, I don't think I did. Uh, so, yeah, we got to put the potted plants in the corners and everything. Actually, we can probably fit one right there. We're just kind of putting these things around. What the hell is a carny plant? No, I'm more interested in... Is this going to eat people? I love how I can put this in the storage area. Um, yeah, here, have the carny plant, I guess. Wow, those were really expensive. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have bought the plants because we're still only at five grand. All right, speaking of money, let's go check. Do we have any challenges? Unfortunately, we do not. All right, the market just updated, so we have new prices right now. Uh, this is obviously really good. Should we do the table? I feel like we should make some sort of actual toy. You know what? Let's go for something complex. Let's actually try video games. That's probably one of the most complex ones. Or the Orcish Multi-Tool. <laughs> the frick is an Orcish Multi-Tool? Uh, the price isn't too hot, so I'm not really enthused by it. The price of the uh, video game, though, is really, really good. So, yeah, let's plan this out. A little more complex, as you can see. Uh, but this should be fun to build. Oh, I was looking at... I'm so dumb. I was looking at payment, like how much I had to pay for the materials. The materials is right up here. Uh, so it actually shows you materials and salaries. So we're going to be able to make a lot more than what I thought. So let's go... Yeah, let's go balls to the wall here. I, I, want, I want to end off on a bank. So I'm thinking 25 should be good. That will give us a little bit of money in the bank. And that is a lot of product. I'm hoping we have enough to store that. We'll find out pretty quickly here. I guess I could put shelving here. I never thought of that. But we could put, like, m multiple shelves here, which makes sense. And, yeah, we've actually limited our space. So let's do that. Um, we're going to slow this down so we're not wasting money. And let's build shelving. Now, can I put it? Oh, it's obstructed. I actually can't put it on that. That's lame um, because the items are already there. So for the time being, as a temp change, we're just going to put a zone over here. Not optimal, I know, but at least we have the space to do it. And anything that we can't put over here, we'll just put over there. All right, get back to work, everybody. Now we actually have space. Oh, my God. There's still so much over there. I like how the truck didn't even want to stay. It just dropped off the load on, on the grass over here because I didn't have enough space. Oh my god, this is I'm, I might have overrun myself here. All right, I know we're going to need more space for the storage of these things, so we're going to put another large shelf here. Uh, we'll order that. It's only 300 bucks, so no big deal. And then we'll just simply expand this out. And now we should have enough space for when these things are actually assembled. But seriously, like, can we can we store these better? I should have put shelving down. I I know that now. Oh, damn it. Are you serious? Um, like, there's so much space here, guys. You couldn't stack these things? All right, well, I don't know what to do at this point. Hold on. Slow down, guys. I think I I royally screwed this up. Can I pause the game? Oh, my God. Um, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't tell them to restack this crap. I'm just patiently waiting at this point. I am going to hit the red. Hopefully... What does this mean? You are close to bankruptcy. If your money falls below negative 5,000, your factory will be forced to close. Okay. I think we'll survive. That's... I was worried it'd be like right away. No. We just had to lose five grand. So we should be fine. And now we know. Uh, storage is a, a big strategy in this game that I didn't, you know, expect. Oh, actually, I didn't notice this, but we have worker pro productivity, worker obstruction. So... Uh, the big thing is we have things all over the ground. I've actually seen these guys fall over the, uh, materials here. So you obviously want to stack this stuff. Shelving is very, very important. But I didn't realize, uh, we had that stat in here, like worker obstruction. We're actually doing okay just besides that. And I've acknowledged that I've, I've drastically screwed up. Oh, these ones are actually done on the ground. We just didn't have enough space. So perfect. We are officially done. Got a little, a little too close for comfort, but now... Oh, look at that. 15 grand. So good. All right. Come on. Everybody, start putting this stuff in the truck. Do we actually see, like, a stack of it in the truck? Uh, unfortunately, it's just, like, one they keep putting on top of each other. I wanted to see a full truck loaded up. Damn it. That would have been cool. Ah, oh, but there we go. We have 12 grand in the bank now, and we are stable once again. So, obviously, we'll delete this. Um, we'll rearrange everything because I want shelving in here. But... I think we're going to wrap up this one here, too. We did a lot today, and you guys get the gist of the game. Let me know what you guys think of it, because I personally really like this game. I love any Tycoon game, though. 
Uh, I think it's really unique and uh, has a lot of cool features that a lot of other games do not. I do really like the blueprint system. And yeah, if you guys want to see a little more of this, maybe we'll do a little, little series on it, seeing how much we can expand. We actually did just unlock the final part of uh, Tier 1, I guess you would say, so we can unlock Tier 2, hopefully in the next one, and get to the more complex stuff. We already got the woodworking as well, so I definitely want to set up a woodworking factory. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.